Morning folks. So last night I uh, I got back after a busy weekend. Uh, the missus is away with work, the kids were in bed and I decided to have a bit of a chill. And for my chilling session I decided to have a bit of a read up. Um, there's been an absolute boatload of trade shows on recently. Uh, we've had the NEC in Birmingham, earlier than that there was Eurobike, uh, Interbike over in Vegas, just all those rock to zoo going on now, there's all manner of trade shows, so I wanted to you know, keep up with what's going on, had a bit of a read through, watch some videos and stuff. Now, there's a couple of things that after doing like three hours worth of that, that really stand out. Nobody ever really tells you the whole truth, do they? I mean, nobody releases a 2017 bike saying, hey, you know when we said 2016 bikes, the one that we made then was the best one ever? Well, we haven't changed anything. We've just given it this new cool paint job because it's ace. Every year it's like, oh, this, this new thing that we brought out is the new best thing. And it's the same with components as well. And it's, it's always, this latest one is the best one and uh, it's really hard to just you know to decipher whether it's just marketing bullshit or whether it's actually the, the truth whether it is really good now the best way to decipher it and to to make a, a proper decision is to test it so I figured we'll take there's like 50 odd new bikes and products out we'll take all 50 spend a week each with them and uh, and then I'll deliver a review from there hang on a second I'm gonna make that work uh, this isn't top gear they don't just send me the top 50 new releases for me to review so I can't get my hands on that and anyway even if I could we've got say I got the top 50 right reviewed them for spent a week with them reviewed them that's gonna take 50 weeks it's only 52 weeks in a year the 2018 stuff will be coming out there is another way. I've been riding mountain bikes for 30 years. Now, you can understand why I would be a little bit skeptical when I watch videos of these 25 year old marketing gurus telling me what the most important thing in mountain biking is. Dude, you weren't even a glimmer in your dad's eye. There is one thing that gets overlooked. 99% of the time, you're not against the clock. You, when you're riding your bike, you don't have to score a goal. The, there isn't a touchdown, there's no shoot in a basket, you don't score a try, you don't get anybody out. There's, there, there's no sort of certain objectives, apart from one really important objective. And I know I keep saying this over and over again, but the objective is to dick about in, on a bike in the woods and have fun. So there is a way to test whether something's, is it fun or is it not? Would we have a better time if we had this new piece of technology? So what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna go old school, like really old school. So this is a fully rigid, zero travel, v brakes equipped, old school clunker style bike. A great test model for this situation. As you can see, it does have stubby stem, wide bars, Single, single ring up front, and it does have something to stop the, the chain coming off. But do you know what? We'll, we'll just take that stuff as given. I can't ride with narrow bars anymore. I used to, not sure why I did, but I can't do it anymore. Let's start with an easy one. Electronic shifting. If I had electronic shifting today, would I be having more fun? Dead easy, no. I had no plans to come riding today, therefore I wouldn't have charged it up overnight. And in fact, right now, I'd be with a dead shifter and I'd be having less fun. Right, well, I've just been dicking about in the woods on a bike. 
and I've just had fun. If that was the objective, then result. Um, what that does tell me is, do you need the latest technology and the latest thing to be able to have fun? No, absolutely not. But, and there is quite a big but on this one, are there things that I could have had from the modern world that would, would have meant I'd have had more fun? Yeah, like uh, quite a few things actually. Um, but let's start off with a couple of grey areas first. First of all, frame material. This is aluminium. I wasn't against the clock today, so I wasn't trying to shave grams in order to shave milliseconds, so would carbon have made any difference? I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure. Jury's out on that one. Uh, an old one, but a good one, wheel size. These are 26 inch. If I'd have had, if they'd have been an inch and a half bigger, would have had a better time. No, I, sorry, but I don't get that one. If they'd have been three inches bigger, would have had a better time. I don't think so. So, anyway, it's moot point because the wheel size thing's done. It's over. These these things are history. Uh, now getting onto the things that, that would have definitely been better. Modern frame geometry. Oh man by a long shot it, it's so much better this is all the, the steep head angle and it's mean it's got a sh it's got a short chain stay on it which means that it's fun and that's why I pulled this one out of the dumpster but yeah that makes it's a fun bike but just modern geometry is it, the progression has come on leaps and bounds uh, let's go on to the next things Susp suspension forks yes you just have a better time with forks. <laughs> um, it just makes your life so much more comfortable. You track better over stuff. You don't get your wrists beaten to crap. Rear suspension, yes, would have had a better time. I like jumping and uh, basically this thing is no fun to jump at all, not on rough terrain. Um, so modern rear suspension, yes, definitely would have had a better time with that. Uh, wheels. This time, today, I didn't buckle them. Um, they're, they're shockers, they're real old, cheapo, poor things. Uh, they stayed straight today. Uh, how long would they stay straight for on prolonged riding? I don't know. So, modern wheels, yeah, good idea. Whether they be carbon or not, who cares? Boost? No. Oh, I, oh, I, I had a crap day because I didn't have boost. That's not really working out for me either, I'm afraid. Uh, modern shifting. Yeah, I would have had a better time with modern shifting, to be honest. The, the technology has just come on leaps and bounds. Leap, leaps and bounds. A technology as far as batteries and electronics. I don't really care about that. The big one, a real big one, brakes. There's a reason that V-brakes aren't a thing anymore. And let's just leave it at that. What else? That's about it, to be honest with you. Those are the big things that make, would make the big difference. Modern geometry, decent suspension, decent brakes. Those are your three. Well, folks, those are just some of my opinions on the whole modern bike thing. The absolute hand-on-heart honest truth of it is, would I swap that thing for a modern bike? Yeah, in a heartbeat. I'm not one of those kind of old-school retro guys who just wants to ride those, those things. Not at all. There's a reason that those things have evolved and become new bikes and it's a very good reason as well so you know don't get me wrong you can have fun on them it's not that you that the the rubbish and there's no point in even riding one because yeah you can you can still achieve the objective but it's just not as good as a modern bike the marketing stuff you know you're gonna have to it's a bit of a minefield and you're gonna have to weigh your way through it all i would say is just try and bear in mind through all the the jargon that comes at you just keep thinking the point is i want to try and have fun on this bike so that should be the thing that influences your decision anyway what's next for me um well immediately next is i've got a, a build project that i'm i'm going to start and that's starting tomorrow uh, and then shortly um there's something that i've been putting off for a very long time now that i really need to address and get on and get on top of so more information coming up about that 
And uh, for now, thanks very much for your time. We'll see you soon.